How could you begin to sum up a city that is impossible to define? Whether you're talking about the limitless sprawl of districts and suburbs or the jolting contrast between sun-baked hills and soft beaches, the high culture of its art institutions, or the rip-roaring fun of its theme parks, Los Angeles is not easy categorized. You could spend days buried in superior museums without ever seeing Hollywood, or devote a whole trip to nothing but studio tours and pilgrimages to share worthy places from TV and movies. Or you might want to go deeper, and hunt down the best taco truck or discover the next big comedy talent to come out of Silver Lake or Echo Park. Walkable isn't a word that comes to mind and you think of Los Angeles, but there's ample opportunity for exercise on scenic hikes in the Hollywood Hills or leisurely bike rides along that string of sandy beaches. Number 1. Hollywood Sign Put up in 1923 and originally spelling, Hollywood Land, a real estate development, the unmistakable Hollywood sign was only supposed to last for 18 months. The arrival of the golden age of Hollywood changed all that, and the sign has remained on Mount Lee in Griffith Park ever since, and dropping, land, in 1949. This landmark was rebuilt in steel in 1978 and was last repainted in 2005. One of the easiest vantage points in the basin is the raised patio on the northeast corner of the Hollywood and Highland Center Mall, and there's another atop the Home Depot parking garage on Sunset Boulevard. You can go in for an up-close look on a hike at Griffith Park, or park up at Lake Hollywood Park and admire the sign across the canyon. Number 2. The Getty Center The main branch of the J. Paul Getty Museum is in Brentwood, surveying Los Angeles from its hilltop roost. The museum's founder was petro-industrialist Jean Paul Getty, who left another $661 million to the institution when he passed away in 1976. This went towards a spectacular and labyrinthine new complex, the Getty Center, which opened in 1997 after almost two decades of planning and construction. Linked to its lower car park by a hover train, the Getty Center is a multifaceted attraction. Number 3. Huntington Library, Art Collections and Botanical Gardens. Among the world's great research libraries, the Huntington in San Marino, Los Angeles County, holds more than 9 million items, from the 1000s to the 21st century. For an everyday visitor, the library exhibition hall draws from these enormous reserves, showing a captivating miscellany, from medieval manuscripts to documents from Abraham Lincoln's life. The library is in 120 acres of lush botanical gardens, with magnificent living collections of orchids, bonsai, cycads and camellias. You can saunter past lily ponds, and through a subtropical garden, desert garden, Japanese garden and Chinese garden. Number 4. Griffith Park In 1896 the Welsh mining magnate Griffith J. Griffith presented over 3,000 acres of Rancho Los Feliz to the city of Los Angeles as a Christmas present. Since then the park has added another 1,000 acres, making it one of the largest urban parks in the United States. Griffith Park is a rough-hewn wilderness, incorporating a chunk of the Santa Monica Mountains and streaked with trails for walking and horseback riding. The Los Angeles Zoo is here, and there are two public golf courses, Harding and Wilson, train and pony rides for youngsters, tennis courts, lots of concession stands and picnic grounds. Number 5. Los Angeles County Museum of Art 
The largest art museum in the western United States, and one of the largest museums of any description in the country, LACMA on Wilshire Boulevard's Miracle Mile is in a mishmash of seven buildings on a 20-acre site. The collections are mind-bendingly vast, covering all ends of the earth and from the ancient times to the present. For the smallest summary there are inventories of Greek, Roman and Etruscan art, American and Latin American art, modern and contemporary art, Islamic art, Asian art, decorative arts, photography and film as well as eye-catching permanent art installations. Number 6. Venice An eccentric neighborhood and seaside resort, the world-famous Venice is Los Angeles at its most cosmopolitan and independent. Although gentrification has crept in, the 2.5-mile Venice Beach Boardwalk is still prowled by outlandish characters and teams with tattoo parlors, cannabis shops, international cuisine, countless street vendors and a big cast of street performers. The Skate Plaza and Venice Muscle Beach are two world-famous signatures, as is the Snaking Strand Trail on the cusp of the massive sandy beach with its constant stream of cyclists and skaters. Number 7. California Science Center in October 2012 the Space Shuttle Endeavour, which took part in 25 NASA missions from 1992 to 2011, rolled through the Los Angeles streets from LAX to the California Science Center. At the time of writing in 2019 the shuttle was still in a temporary pavilion, and the exhibition, available with a special exhibit or IMAX theater pass, shows off this staggering piece of hardware, along with some of its fittings like the space potty, galley, Tires from its final mission and the Space Hab Logistics Module, a kind of workshop for astronauts. Number 8. Warner Brothers Studio Tour. As opposed to the action-packed Universal Studio Tour, a visit to Warner Brothers close by in Burbank is less about razzle-dazzle and more about the craft of making films and TV shows. The standard tour lasts between two and three hours and packs in a visit to the sound stage where the Big Bang Theory is shot, as well as the archive and prop house, bursting with props and costume from countless movies including the Harry Potter series and the DC Universe. Number 9. La Brea, Tar Pits and Page Museum. Over tens of thousands of years until Los Angeles was developed, animals would be trapped and preserved in the tar at what is now Hancock Park by LACMA. Heavy oil from the Salt Lake oil field would seep to the surface, becoming viscous natural tar as its lighter fractions evaporated. The tar would be covered with a layer of water or dead leaves, waiting to lure unsuspecting mammoths, saber-toothed cats, bison, horses and dire wolves and preserve them intact. Number 10. Disneyland Resort An obligatory day trip whatever your age, Disneyland Resort is two theme parks, Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure, linked by the outdoor shopping area, Downtown Disney. It all began in 1955 with Disneyland Park, overseen by Walt Disney himself. Fair to say that Disneyland Park is the original modern theme park, divided into lands, and crammed with rides that have passed into legend, like Space Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. A new land, Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, designed in collaboration with Lucasfilm, opened in 2019. And, naturally, the main street parades are a big part of the fun, especially for smaller visitors. Number 11. Hollywood Walk of Fame. There are things in every city that locals avoid like the plague, but visitors can't afford to pass up. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is in that vein, commending actors, musicians, directors, musical and theatrical groups, and even 16 fictional characters with stars in the pavement. A little less than half of all the stars are dedicated to someone in the film industry. 
In case you didn't know, the stars are made of brass and terrazzo, and in spring 2019 there were more than 2,600. The Walk of Fame, begun in 1958 with an initial 1,588 honorees, is on 15 blocks of Hollywood Boulevard and 3 blocks of Vine Street. Number 12. Grauman's Chinese Theater. Hollywood history permeates the exquisitely decorated Grauman's Chinese Theater on the Walk of Fame. This monument, designed to resemble a Chinese pagoda and guarded by a pair of Ming Dynasty lions, has hosted more than its fair share of premieres since it opened for Cecil B. DeMille's The King of Kings in 1927. To commemorate the Star Wars premiere in 1977, the Prince of Darth Vader, C-3PO, and R2-D2 were taken in the concrete forecourt. Number 13. Universal Studios Hollywood. In 1964 Universal Studios started offering tours of its studio lot to see sets and props that had already been inscribed in movie and television history at Universal City. Before long this developed into a fully-fledged theme park. Almost everything is based on Universal Studios productions, and updated every few years to stay current. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter opened in 2016 and has the Flight of the Hippogriff Roller Coaster and the Forbidden Journey, a dark ride through Hogwarts. Number 14. Pacific Park. The only amusement park on a pier on the west coast of the United States, Pacific Park is free to enter and has 12 rides. Inevitably, the Pacific Park and the Santa Monica Pier have appeared in hundreds of movies and TV shows, and like innumerable locations around Los Angeles was rendered in startling detail for the 2013 video game GTA V. First taking shape in the 1910s and revived in the 1990s, Pacific Park bills itself as the only admission-free amusement park in LA. Number 15. Rodeo Drive. Every major western city has a street enriched with flagship luxury emporia by brands like Gucci, Cartier, and Louis Vuitton. But Rodeo Drive, namely the three blocks north of Wilshire and south of Little Santa Monica Boulevard is special. This palm line street takes conspicuous wealth to a whole new place, and has also been immortalized by movies, most famously Pretty Woman, 1990, when Julia Roberts goes on the mother of all sprees. Number 16. The Broad. Bringing added cultural bite to downtown Los Angeles, The Broad opened next to the Walt Disney Concert Hall in 2015 and was financed by philanthropist Eli Broad. The cube-shaped building is a head-turning architectural statement by the Diller Scofidio plus Renfro firm, with a skin comprising 2,500 rhomboidal concrete panels reinforced by fiberglass. On three levels, the broad is vast and covers modern and contemporary painting, photography, and sculpture from the mid-20th century to the present. Number 17. Hollywood Bowl. An abiding landmark and wonderful place to watch live music, the Hollywood Bowl is a 17,500-seater amphitheater resting in the Hollywood Hills with views of the Hollywood sign to the northeast. Fred Astaire, Louis Armstrong, and the Beatles have all performed here, in fact it would be easier to make a list of the cultural giants who haven't. The venue is the summer home of the Los Angeles Philharmonic, as well as the seat of the Hollywood Bowl Orchestra, formed in 1990. The current shell is actually the fifth to have been built at the Hollywood Bowl. Number 18. Peterson Automotive Museum. On Museum Row, this museum was founded by publisher Robert E. Peterson in 1994 and has recently come though a makeover. This has left the building with a spectacular shell composed of 100 tons of stainless steel in an aerodynamic ribbon formation. 
Even more exciting is what's in store in the museum's 25 galleries where you'll be greeted by hundreds of awe-inspiring automobiles, displayed with evocative backdrops. Number 19. Grand Central Market. As good a place as any to begin an adventure in downtown Los Angeles, the cavernous Grand Central Market has occupied the ground floor of the landmark Homer Laughlin Building since 1917. This is hands down the largest and oldest public market in the city. In the 2010s the market has turned itself into a trendy dining destination with a revitalization project, and by welcoming a cosmopolitan lineup of new vendors. Number 20. Sunset Boulevard. 22 miles long, from downtown Los Angeles to opulent Malibu, Sunset Boulevard is a neat cross-section of the city. In West Hollywood, Sunset Boulevard encompasses the neon glare of the Sunset Strip, famed for its bright billboards, and a place to dine, drink and catch some live music. In the 60s, 70s and 80s, every rock scene, from folk rock through punk to hair metal had its time in the limelight on Sunset Strip. 